All right, everybody, we're back here. We're gonna do some more my player because this is pretty much the only stuff I can really do right now is Madden NBA because I gotta leave Sunday and I can't get MLB right now. And of course, UFC comes out later on, so I'll be doing that stuff later on. But right now, it's just gonna all be NBA Madden right now, and hopefully. When I get back from a trip, I can be doing all kinds of stuff like MLB, UFC, Madden, and um, NBA. Then whatever else comes out. I'll probably, I'm thinking of maybe doing some Drive Club or one of the racing games too. Be interesting, maybe make my own career in one of those. So, I was actually looking at this. This thing goes into 1080. Yeah, 59.94 frames per second, which is definitely good. So, all right, let's get into this. Take the hardwood here at the Phillips Arena. Our starting lineup to look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. All right, here we go. Who are we facing? I wasn't paying attention. Sacramento King. All right. Come here, boy. Oh God, it's Mba Mute. Don't let him score. No thrift shop for you, boy. Nine points last game out. Here's Patterson. Yes, he missed. That would have put him up. Tell you what. For you, Patterson. Bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Well, Mike Boonholzer, you know, the new coach of the Hawks, spent 19 years with the San Antonio Spurs, including 17 as an assistant. Well, you couldn't ask for a better team nice. than that. Now, here's Thomas. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Now the dish to McLemore. Don't you dare. Here's Patterson. Still miss. This is off the right iron. Back to Budenholzer, who was with the Spurs for 19 years. Steve, the Spurs, the winningest team in pro sports over the last 15 years. Yeah, I'm glad that Budenholzer is finally. I lost the ball. No. God dang it. He loves the game. He's very dedicated. Ah. Oh, wow. From probably the best coach in the NBA during his time in San Antonio. You know, he may lack grace, but his length makes up for it. He can still throw it down now. Well, you don't have to be a fantastic leaper when you're his size. Well, it's too bad because with a little more athleticism, can you imagine how dangerous he'd be underneath the boards? Thompson, he's checked in for Sacramento. Salmons comes in for Mba Amute. Six on the shot clock. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Okay. Look at the offense for the Kings last season. Nice. There are some things to build on here, guys. Fourth in the NBA in fast break points, top four in points in the paint. Those yeah. Are good numbers to build your offensive foundation around. Schroeder, he's checked in for Atlanta. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some Let's of go. the NBA's other big men. Stop him. Here's Vasquez. And so he draws the foul. Ah. To the line to shoot two. Miss, miss. Which Mike Milano tries to you. Don't freaking sink it. Steve, especially at the offensive end. Yeah, they had it. Mont. Ah. Be jacking up shots any time they could get one. All right, Schroeder. Let's do this. In the league and assist as a team. A lot of isolation basketball. It was not pretty to watch. Damari Carroll's checked in for Kyle Korf. Jenkins, the pass to money. Oh my goodness, I dropped the freaking it loose. Oh my goodness. Three on three. Here's Vasquez. Get that out of here. Rebound is going to be the yes. focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Money passes to Jenkins. Outside, Scott. Here's Schroeder. He's guarded by Vasquez. Oh. Out of bounds, Sacramento will take possession. Oh, dang it, Schroeder. Get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are oh, seven. man, we're doing so freaking good. Terrific position for them as they Save the best for last. Spot, but it's a long season, as we all know. 
And of course, the Atlanta Hawks just way behind. Well, right now for the Hawks, I mean, they've had a heck of a time of it from day ah. one this season. I mean, it's still way too early to start writing their obituary, but they have struggled. Well, they have, Clark, and you're right. The season is so long that there's plenty of time to turn things around, but well, now would be a pretty good time to start. Scott against Patterson. Scott kicks to Jenkins. Back to Scott. Takes the three. And nice stirring. That's good. On the assist by Scott. Jenkins got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And McCallum kicks to Patterson. Into Jason Thompson. Well, ah. And he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Carroll dishes to Scott. Here's the screen. All alone. Good. Nice. Jenkins got five points so far. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. Vasquez passes to Thompson. Vasquez kicks to McCallum. Good. Uh -huh. Any defense played yet in this game? Nope. This game has been all about rapid fire offense early. Uh, uh. Tie game in Atlanta. And so far, more than a very good first quarter. Look at the last game for Sacramento. It was a win against the Bobcats in Charlotte. And you know what was most impressive? They wasted very few possessions in that game. They ran their offense close to perfection. Oh, man. They call the mute button game in front of a hostile crowd. They never let the fans get into it. Had them on their hands the oh, whole time. Man. Come on. on the court for Sacramento. Travis Outlaw up there with Patrick Patterson. And then it's Isaiah Thomas. Then it's Jimmer Ferdet. And it's Thompson in at the center. Want you to get a run start for a score assist on a few baskets in a row. Whatever he has, whether it's uh, keeping them off the scoreboard. Just a, he's got a very steady game and it really gives you everything he has on the floor. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Lakers was just a man on a mission. He had two right. points and was just efficient on the offensive end, picking his spots on when to keep the ball moving or try his own luck. He too much to handle as he came off the bench to turn Couldn't do anything the about that. They hope it continues. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified, Clark. Well, I know this opponent should be terrified because there's a good chance the momentum he gathered that night carries right over into this game. Well, some of it will carry over. That's inevitable. All right. How much? Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the There you go. And right from the start, guys, it's apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've also gotten into a nice rhythm from the three-point line early on tonight. Vasquez, he's checked in for the king. Outlaw's shot is off. And Jason Thompson, a well-rounded player, Clark, can play the power forward or, or even at 6'11", the center. I like him a lot, Kevin. He's got a good motor. He's got an excellent body. Nice. He works the backboard pretty well. And Didn't use my nice screen, no, but. In his free throw shooting last year. Place to start anyways. 70%. He's a guy that helps you at both ends of the floor. There's the Get that out of here. I hope they get it back. Kings leading now by 10. Tries again. Front uh, the bucket. You look back at the footage of Jimmer when he was playing at BYU, and I mean, he'd shoot threes from six, seven feet behind the three-point line. So it's all about the shooting range and the offensive repertoire for Fredet. He's got a lot of potential. Well, there aren't a whole lot of places where Jimmer isn't willing to pull. That in there. Yes. If he gets in the zone, he'll pull up from a few feet beyond the arc. And I'm telling you what, it's fun to watch. Pass to Outlaw. Plenty of space. Uh -huh. Vasquez making the play. Vasquez has got his third assist on the night. Teague the pass to Money. And the pass to Scott. No! Oh. Sacramento grabs the miss. Their last encounter was in Sacramento. Remember in that last matchup, they, they really snuck out a win. A close game. Yes! A few mistakes 
uh, at the end. But forcing turnovers, uh, I thought was a different. Oh my goodness! So it looks like the Hawks are retaining possession here. The Kings making a switch here. One oh seven left in the first half. Here's money covered by Outlaw. Goes up with it. There we go. King's lead has been kept down to just 10 points with the bucket for money. I don't think they're counting on turnovers to pull this one off. You'd like to have them if you can get them, Kevin. Oh, man. You try to get into the passing lanes, but an aggressive play is a two-way street. If you don't settle down, your mistakes could be your own. He dishes it to Jenkins. And with that, nice. Trimmed to single digits. Jenkins got his third basket of the night right there. You know, with the time left, they can trade two for one here. If they hurry. And McCallum kicks to Outlaw. Salmons from outside. Whoa. by Jenkins. The Hawks trail by nine. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Teague dishes to Garrett. Ah, oh, man. And here is Salmons. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Thanks. The shot is good. And the Kings lead by 11. This is virtually uncontested. It's nice to be able to add to the lead without really having to work for it. Leads away. Yes. But wait a minute. The official. No. Together, they may want to review this one. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. What? Bring out Come on. Give me this, man. And a good job by the officials getting together. Come on, this has replay. to be I mean, freaking shot. It was before the rule was implemented to see a replay. I was I was in the air. Yeah, I think uh, the straw that finally broke the camel's back, Clark, was in the Screw that. I was in the air. Remember the Lakers beat the Kings by one point in that critical game 4. Come on, I was in the air. Freaking game. At halftime, it was clearly after the buzzer. What? Isn't it supposed to be when if you're in the air? Or is it has the ball has to be in the air? That's such crap. Technology's available, so Ah Let me check my frames per second. It's Sacramento. Fifty nine, that's good. And coming up after the break breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Twenty nine and twenty. Doing good by sprint. Good to have you here. The sprint. I can't believe that bull crap. By sprint. Ah. <laughs> now we're down by nine. Anyways, Let's see if I can help them get back up. So it's Atlanta now. Nine point game. Yes. For money. Money's got twelve. Easy buckets, guys, are best gotten in transition. The Hawks were very good in that department, and it's how they were able to be a playoff team even while losing the players that they did before last season. Money, he's in at center. Elton Brand is at uh -huh. Man. Then there's Lewis Who the frick's covering him? He's the guard position. Making everything. So that's the Hawks five. Mr. Brand. Here's Money. He's guarded by Cousins. Here's Money. Oh, man. And back to the Hawks would end up third overall in fast break points. You know, Steve, as soon as they got a rebound, everyone knew to fill a lane, and they could certainly finish at the rim. Well, they had a, a point guard who really loved to push the ball in Jeff Teague. So that seemed to be Jeez. the for this club. Of course, they've gone through a lot of changes in the offense. Okay, cut it down the five. Of course, I call for a pass. That pass. But this is more about the future than it is about the present. Williams passes to Millsap. Back to Williams. Buries it down. There we go. Williams has got 10 points in just the second half. Well, his scoring this quarter has been off the charts, and the complexion of the game as a result uh, may change. Thomas kicks to Mbamute. The feed to Cousins. That yes. Wide left. The Hawks trail by nine. 
And Williams, here we go. Passes it to Money. Outside Millsap. Poke loose. Ah. Jerk. Here's Fredette. Thomas dishes to Fredette. Good in the assist. Dang it, Thomas. man. Thomas got his sixth assist on the night. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats. <laughs> Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen really are we There we go. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to get. Yes. Some changes for Sacramento. Jenkins, he's check in for Brand. And it's Cunningham in for Lou Williams. Here's McCallum. One thirty-two left in the third quarter. Salmon's no luck. That's one he knows he should have made. The Hawks trailing. Mike Malone, the new head coach of the Sacramento Kings, son of a former NBA coach. Mike has been credited with helping teams improve their defenses, whether it was in New Orleans with Chris Paul, last season with Golden State, but Malone very well regarded in NBA coaching circles. Vasquez kicks to Salmon's. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Cannot hit. And Atlanta will go the other way. All right. Seen Clark not without offensive talent, but their defense has been their shortcoming. And that's the area they've got to ramp up and improve. And Coach Malone is going to have an opportunity. God to dang it. Ah. Freaking missed. Again. Vasquez kicks to Selmans. Rejected by Milson. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Gunningham passes to Millsap. Shot is off. Thanks. Sacramento leading by nine. Salmon's with it. He's picked up by Jenkins. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. That one falls, so he hits both of them. We ever gonna reduce this gap? There's 18 seconds left in the third quarter. Schroeder kicks to Cunningham. Pass to Money. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's on Mbamuta. Oh, what? Sacramento making a switch here. Shooting for a Money. And the second free throw, good. Five seconds left in the third. Here's McCallum. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And Great, ten points. Double-digit deficit. It'll make it tough to come back. Kings lead by ten. 2K Sports back in a moment here at Phillips Arena. In oh, Atlanta. boy. Team's not very good. Well, two, three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Well, it had to be this play, don't you think, Kevin? Sure. This is just a phenomenal pass. Made the defense look like they had no idea what was going on. What precision did that pass? Beautiful. Ah, I didn't want to pass it him. Presented by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court right now for the Kings. Nice shot. And oh, that was a two. Landry and Cousins patrol the paint. And it's Thomas in at the point guard. Come on, we got to play deep. Now here's Vasquez, covered by Cunningham. Vasquez dishes to Thomas. Solid shot. Dang, man. Feet. God. The more shots no D. Gets, guys, the more he's going to forget the pain he's playing through. Sometimes shot making can give you that added boost of adrenaline. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Out Shoot it. it. Oh my goodness, you missed that. He's leading now by 10. Dishes it to Vasquez. Thomas passes to McLemore. There's the three. They get it back. Cousins out left to the wing. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Teague against Thomas. 
Vasquez up top. And the three off target. Vasquez is gone. One of three. All right, we gotta get something. Here's Teague blocked. They Come on. Pass it up. Ah. Kings have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Vasquez kicks to Thomas. Let's the three fly, and down it goes. Three pointer. Yeah. Vasquez. And of course Kings they make them, but my guys can't. Teague dishes to Horford. Back to Teague. And the vast of money. Shot clock at five. T kicks to Cunningham. From deep. There's the nice. Cunningham's got five points now in the quarter. How about that for a response? They will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. Thomas against T. The tray. Another three for Wow. Seven. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. The Hawks trail by 13. Passes it to Money. Back to T. Fires from deep. Another there we go. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. The Kings have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Vasquez passes to Thomas. Feeds it to Landry. Here's McLemore. Second chance shot. No good from Cousins. Come on, let's go. Testing that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Millsap kicks to Cunningham. Again. Yes. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. There's the dish to Landry. From down. Dang. Post, it goes. Atlanta's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Back to T. Outside Millsap. Hawks passing it around. Pass the money. Goes up. I, I miss. miss. God. Landry's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's McLemore. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Hawks trail by ten. Millsap dishes to Horford. Kicks it to Cunningham. Outside Millsap. And there's the pass to Money. Pocket six. And again, it's at hand. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. That's right. Al Vasquez outside Thomas. Here's Landry. Out of bounds at Landry. Okay. <laughs> and here's what's up coming now for the Hawks. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. I know I'll be looking out for the final score in that heat game. Should be a close one. The Kings making a switch here. And Baamute's checked in. Here's Money. Uh, rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah. Cousins has got that rebound sucks. number nine now. What an effort here tonight. McLemore, the pass to Thomas. Landry with a screen for Thomas. He feeds it to Landry. In low to Cousins. No! Shot misses. Good work defensively by Millsap. The Hawks trail by eight. Williams kicks to Millsap. They set the pick. Passes to Money. Knocks it loose. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Ben McLemore. That's foul number two for him. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call, that trip. Here's Money. The short one's on the money. Money's got ten points here in the second. Need two threes. Destroying it in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. 
here's Landry. Oh. oh. Landry's got four this quarter. Guys, you know, you're not going to hit that shot too often. That's high risk. Williams passes to Money. 135 left to play. Come on. <sighs> and the most striking thing about him, Kevin, is just how strong he is. He plays the game so physically. He may not be the most skilled guy, but he plays with a, a burning passion. And Steve, very few okay. players have his finishing ability. We see him get a lot of and ones because even if he draws hard contact, Come on. he is able to play. Stop him. Hurry up. Thomas with the ball. Picked up by T. Go for a steal or something. The drive by Cousins. Oh my god. And the Kings lead by eight. We've got 123 left in the fourth. And we definitely need threes now. Williams passes to Money. Back to Williams. And that one's good. Williams okay. just got 20 points. Right, we still need freaking two threes. As the shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Let's find out what goes Come on, we need to stop him bad. Come on, we're gonna go for a steal. Still, come on. Smart basketball come on, get that. Go, 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 go. Come on, we need freaking threes. Go for the three. No, that's a two. God dang it. Well, if we can score quick points here. Thomas picks to Landry. Give me that ball. Give me that ball, son. And that's a foul called on Monday. Ah. Uh. God dang it. But they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody Well, Demarcus, congratulations. Ah. Uh, of course you bench me. Jerks. No luck with the Hawks at all. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of our players. So, how are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? I am. No, I'm tired of it. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I'm done here. I want to be traded. <sighs> okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Look, I'm going to take this request seriously. But before I make anything official, I want you to take a couple of days and think about whether or not this is something you really want to do. I mean, that ain't going to change my mind, but if it makes you feel better... All right. All right. Look, I hope it doesn't come to this, but I'll make a few calls and see what the market's like. Let's talk again in a few days. All right. I'll see you then. Wizards. <laughs> Come on, man. Where's the freaking nuggets? Aw. That sucks. Be interested with the freaking nuggets. Okay. Look at this. I'm 80 overall and I'm on the freaking bench. That. I'm tired of being on this sucky team. Ugh. Man, I better be gone soon.